Ooh, I'm alive. Nobody's here there. Nobody is here. Except me. Anyways, guys, um, if you guys join, this is going to be a long live session. Long live session. And this is going to be recorded using YouTube Live. Um, I don't expect a lot of people in here. But, yeah. I'm doing this video live. Uh, calling it a Dirty Kitchen little dirty kitchen cooking so I'm in our kitchen in our home and we decided to make potato tacos so we're gonna start doing some so right now what I'm doing right now is I'm preparing all the stuff that is gonna go with it so I got some cabbage here that I picked up today uh, it's a whole lot of cabbage oh this is gonna go through the whole step so this is going to go through beginning to the end of the process of what I'm doing to make food for the house. So, oh, I see, I see you have a viewer. Hello, Mr. Viewer. If you guys can hear me, uh, just let me know in the comments or in the live chat. So right now what I'm doing is I am cutting up the cabbage trying to get my knife here I'll move the camera down a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing I move this thing down and I'm using my phone by the way guys so right now I'm gonna cut up this cabbage I already put the uh, potatoes to boil and I'll show you guys in a second or that one person that's live <laughs> in a second. Right now I'm just cutting up the cabbage and the cabbage is gonna go with the tacos. And they go inside stuff inside the tacos and I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon on it so you can get that flavor of the lemon. And the lemon is courtesy of my cousin, uh, Lupe, who lives uh, somewhere here by where we live and thank you uh, so we're gonna use that use that lemon to spice up this cabbage and right now I'm just you know chopping the cabbage up nice and small nothing crazy you know it's not it's not gonna be fancy my mom if my mom is seeing this she'll she would kill me. You know why? Because she loves the cabbage long and stripped. She was like, what are you doing? That's not, it's not proper. She likes it kind of like this. Anyways, um, so now I'm going to get another bowl here. I'm going to put this cabbage on the side. And this should be enough for tonight. I mean, I think maybe for five nights. It's too much, too much cabbage. <clears throat> so now we got the cabbage in here. I'm gonna cut up this lemon. Just like that. I'm gonna squeeze some of the juice into the cabbage. If you guys can see that. Oops, got some seeds in there. Ugh, no seeds. I don't know if it's, anybody else has noticed this, but um, lemons that are grown at the house taste a lot different than lemons you get at the market. They have a different scent and different flavor. I don't know what it is. Can't pinpoint it. So now I got the tortillas right here. Uh, I just pulled these out of the fridge so they are kind of hard. So if I fold them, they are going to tear. So if you guys ever done tacos before, if the tortillas are not warm, they will tear very easily. So we're gonna move on. Already did our cabbage. We're gonna move on to the stove here, and we got a flat pan. Sorry, I'm just like a hobo. Got the flat pan going, and I'm gonna warm up 
What I like to do is I like to put two at a time. See, these freaking tortillas are all chopped up. But who cares? We're going to use them. We're going to eat them. These are courtesy of Guerrero. Courtesy of Guerrero. Courtesy meaning that they're all messed up from Guerrero. But they still are edible. So we're going to eat those up. See, look, this is the bag that I got. See, look at... I don't know if you guys can see it, but look at how broken they are. Horrible. I got those at Sam's Club. So right here, I got the potatoes cooking. I got them boiling. I got them, uh, I need like maybe 20 minutes or so. These are going to cook. I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to put them in this Pyrex here. And uh, there's two ways to do it. You can either peel the potato when it's hot, which involves your fingers and very, very hot potato. Uh, or what you can do also is just smash it with the skin. So either way, if you do either or, they both taste good. Uh, some people like it with the skin. Like at, uh, I don't know if you guys ever been to uh, Cheesecake Factory. The mashed potatoes that they serve you, they still have the skin on them. So, and you know, people like them. They're delicious. Just got a few more tortillas. So tonight we're going to make about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tacos. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eight, nine, no, eleven. Eleven tacos. And I'm going to have a lot, I'm going to have a lot of uh, potato mixture left over. Uh, and that'll help out, you know, for throughout the week. What I do is uh, I get the potato mixture, whatever I make, put it in a Ziploc, throw it in the fridge, and you can make more tacos, like, you know, three days later. And, you know, you don't have to freeze it. That's what's good. <clears throat> so let me get the phone over here so you guys can see the potatoes. Uh, let's go over here. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Hopefully the phone doesn't fog up. Um, they still need a bit more time, so we'll see. Got the tortillas on warm right here. You can see that. And uh, I'm just warming them up right now. Like I said, it's because if I don't warm them up, they'll tear. Just like all these cracks right here. They'll tear, and then I won't be able to use them at all. So... So again, guys, if you guys can hear me, just let me know in the comments. I can uh, see the comments, you know, scroll through. If there's anybody watching. Put more lemon on the uh, cabbage here. Uh, also, I'm going to throw on some rice to cook. And uh, I'm going to be using this Par Excellence yellow rice. I picked this up at Sam's Club for three bucks. And I've uh, used a little bit, and this is so good. This rice is very delicious. I think it was so cheap because it's almost uh, its expiration date. So let's move the camera over here while the potatoes are cooking. Let's bring this camera down. Get this bag out of the way. I'm going to also make some beans. Uh, I'm going to use uh, these Sun Vista pinto beans. These are pretty good, uh, especially if we're going to make, uh, you know, some mashed beans here. So I'm going to be getting my cup measurement. I'm going to do about one cup with um, two cups of water, maybe two and a quarter cups of water. So I'm assuming those are the potatoes that are being ready to uh, pull out. I'm going to give them a couple more minutes. They didn't look too, uh, too cooked to me. I'm going to give it more. So like I said, I'm going to use um, one cup. One cup of rice. Put this guy back over here. And for this guy, it says two, it says three cups. Jesus Christ. So much, so much, so much. So yeah, I'm going to use one cup. It says to use two and a quarter cups of water, which is pretty correct. Let's see if you guys can see that right there. 
So, yeah, one cup, two and a quarter cups. That's usually like one water bottle. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put that in there. And right now I'm gonna be using my rice cooker. If you guys have ever seen this rice cooker before, this is a three squares rice cooker. Uh, best investment I've ever made, best investment, hands down. Because it makes it so much easier, especially, you know, clutter from the kitchen over here. Uh, makes it a lot easier. So I almost messed up there, almost burnt all the tortillas down. But we saved a couple. It doesn't matter, we have more tortillas. Just pulled them out of the freezer. So I added the water here. I'm gonna get some butter real quick. All right, got the butter down. Just gonna use one tablespoon. I'm gonna use a cheapo butter, not the real butter. So I'm gonna set it. This thing is awesome. So you just hit it, hit the white rice, and then start. Bam. Starts. You don't even have to worry about it. Just look away. It just does it by itself. Love this thing. All right. So we got this uh, cabbage ready to go. We got our tortillas which are unfortunately somewhat burnt, but it's okay. Still make do. Make do with these babies. So what I like about this recipe is that you can make a lot of food for a lot of people for cheap. So if you have a big family, if you have a lot of kids, this is perfect. Especially because uh, kids love tacos, especially uh, fried tacos. Really, they really do. So I'm all done with the cabbage now. I already chomped it up. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge now so it doesn't get all messed up. What I like to do is the cabbage. I like to cut it from the top so this can continue growing and. Uh, it won't spoil as easily. Put it back in the fridge. It'll last me another maybe week or so. Maybe make some more food with it, some stew, or more tacos for later. So right now I'm going to throw the beans to cook right now. I'm going to throw them in the back. Cover this up. Now we can get rid of this pan. No longer need it. Now we're gonna get our bean pan here. We're gonna put it on a kind of like a low flame, not too high. Makes real easy refried beans that can. I'm gonna use uh, some. Uh, I'm gonna use some olive oil for this. Just a little bit, like a, maybe a tablespoon. Not too much. That and, you know, you don't want to eat so much fat. So I got the oil in there. I got the beans, these Sun Vistas. These are so cheap, they're like a dollar. So yeah, if you have, if you have a large family, a lot of kids. This is a good little recipe. Especially with the bean things. The beans are so easy. Just get a little bit of a tablespoon of oil, pour the whole can, and it's ready. I think the power just shut off on the, the living room. Let me go check. Uh oh. 
So yeah, we got power cut off the living room area. It's getting kind of hot over here. So we got the AC going and uh, yeah, so just shut off right now. We'll get it fixed right now. So but the bad thing about that is that my rice was cooking on that circuit and now it's all jacked up. So who cares? I'm just gonna move it over. It didn't even get that hot, so it doesn't matter. I'll put it up here for now. Change it to this circuit and then I'll... It's one thing about this house. Is that you can't use hardly anything together at the same time or else the power cuts off. Potatoes are about done. Rice is cooking again. Let me go uh, reset this power and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Um, I hope this is didn't mess up the live stream. I mean, it's connected to my Wi-Fi, unless it uh, went directly to T-Mobile service. Uh oh. I guess it is in T-Mobile service. So that's good. All right, I think these uh, potatoes might be done. If you guys, if I'm still live, let me know in the comments. Comment somebody. If somebody's there. No, these potatoes are not done yet. Need more time. Yeah, it needs more time. I got my uh, bean smasher here. Rinse this guy down before I start. So I'm gonna let them cook for a little bit and then I'll start um, mashing them up. Um, Potatoes aren't done at all. It's gonna be a little bit of a time before we can uh, get these potatoes going. So yeah, like I said, this is a nice recipe if you have a big family, a lot of kids, because um, you can make a lot of food really quick, very quickly. Especially if you have uh, hungry, impatient kids that won't stop at nothing till they get their food. Shake the rice. Yeah, that's a good uh, good idea. Actually, I did that when I first got it. I did shake the rice. But, um, yes. I don't know if you guys noticed uh, this rice. If you guys ever had it, it has bell pepper pieces in it, which is pretty cool. Thank you for commenting, by the way. So yeah, this, um, this thing has to restart all over since the power went out over there, cut off thanks to the uh, air conditioning.
Right now I'm just mashing up the beans pretty quick. Let me add some garlic powder in here, garlic. I don't put too much, maybe about a teaspoon on these beans. Let's get up real quick. You guys can see that. Let's get this guy, mash them all up. And just give it a few minutes and you'll have beans just like you went to a restaurant. Trust me. You went to a Mexican restaurant and you sat down and you had some freshly made beans. I mean, you could do it the old fashioned way, just get a pot like this one here. Get yourself a bag of beans. Uh, what is it? 16 ounces, if I'm not mistaken. Have some in here. 16 ounce packet, and uh, add like maybe six quarts of water. Throw the beans in there. Add like maybe two tablespoons of salt and uh, some garlic. That's a key thing. Garlic. If you don't want to be tooting later, add some garlic in there, and it'll help you out. I know some people, they, they never want to eat beans because they feel like later they're going to be tooting. Just throw some garlic in there. And then all you got to do, really, if you're making fresh beans, all you got to do is get the garlic, mash it, peel it, throw it in there. And then once you're done boiling the beans, you just toss it out. Unless you like garlic, you can eat it, you know? Right now, just mashing up these beans right here with this old stove. Old, old stove. It's gonna be a while. These potatoes are still boiling. I'm gonna check them out in a few. Maybe give them like two or three more minutes. up these babies real good and then we'll let them cook for a little bit and if you have one of these uh, non-stick pans try not going too crazy on the pan because you can scrape off the teflon or whatever and you know can cause a lot of health problems Go real easy on this this pan so you don't get none of that Teflon. So we got another viewer. Thank you for watching guys. See if we can make some more videos like this. Making food live. So you can see the whole process and how long it takes. I think that should be enough. Just give it a bit more time. We'll let this cook. Got the potatoes in here. Let's check them out. The fork should sink in very easily. Right now, it's kind of like, it's still kind of hard. So, give it three more minutes or so. Let these potatoes cook. And then while that is happening, we got the beans in, in this pot over here. And we got the rice over here. Cooking. So for the potato tacos, uh, I haven't even really discussed of what you're gonna need for them. Uh, you're gonna need about, let's just say four potatoes. I'm gonna make all the potatoes, but four potatoes, about a cup of your favorite cheese, Monterey Jack or mozzarella. Uh, I wouldn't use cheddar. Um, it gives it kind of like a, you know, nasty tinge. Not tinge, but, um, you know, the color of the potato will kind of look off. Uh, but I, you, I would use uh, Monterey Jack or mozzarella. If you like pepper jack, you can use pepper jack. So we get the potatoes out, out of the boil. 
Put them in the pan. This guy right here. Throw them in here, throw your cup of cheese while the potatoes are hot. The key word is that you have to use the hot potatoes. And you mash them up. Mash, mash them up real good. You throw in some uh, garlic powder, onion powder. And you mash them up real good. Add some salt, maybe about a teaspoon of salt. Mash it up. Uh, taste the potato. And if it's not... No, no meat. No meat at all. So if you're vegetarian, this is great, you know, for all these uh, vegetarians out there. No meat. I mean, you can add meat. Sorry, I'm sweating like a pig over here. Standing in front of the, the pan. But yeah, no meat. You can add meat. You can uh, add your favorite ground meat if you want. Cook the ground meat beforehand. You can use lorries, whatever you need. Cook the meat, throw it in there, mash it up with the potato, and you can cook it like that as well. But um, once you're done making the potato mix, you get your uh, soft tortillas, like these guys right here. Get your soft tortilla, throw the potato in there, close it, get some, uh, maybe a, a cup and a half of oil, put it on the pan and let it uh, get nice and crispy and brown. You're gonna have potato tacos. And then you get your uh, cabbage that you made with some lemon. Perfect, perfect dinner. If you want, you can get your favorite hot sauce. In my case, I just used tapatio. Uh, or tapatio, you know, for all the, because, you know, if I don't want to say it uh, whitish, because then people get upset, tapatio, throw that on there, and you're good. Right now, I'm just going to lower the flame on these beans before they um, start burning. Yeah, you don't, uh, you don't have to use meat if you don't want to. You can use meatless, vegetarian style. It's good. Good dinner. Especially if you have a big family. Put this rice away real quick. So I see you're in here, Kenneth. What kind of... Uh, have you ever had potato tacos, by the way? I don't know if you have. Ever, ever, ever made potato tacos, have potato tacos. Yeah? Oh, okay, cool. Are you from uh, California, Ken, or are you from another state? Philadelphia, you! Yeah, I've been there. I love Philadelphia. Had a great time over there. I know, I'm a, probably be a big tourist. Me and Jerry uh, went to uh, went to Geno's and, and Pat's. I went out there for work. Had a great time. Great time in Philly. That's good that the Eagles won too. I don't know if you're an Eagles fan. I mean, I'm not really a football guy, but it's good. Good that these Eagles won. <clears throat> you guys are wondering, Jerry's in the other room. She's uh, preparing herself. Getting, uh, I think she's doing her nails right now. Rice is cooking. Let me check these potatoes one more time. Oh yeah, these are ready now. Let me show you. Ooh, ah. The way to tell is like you get your fork, slide it in. Should be hardly any resistance here. Should just fall apart just like that. 
So let's see here. I would have just taken. I couldn't. Uh, the text went away. Oh, there you go. I am NBA fan. Oh, okay. NBA fan. The 76ers. Oh, nice. I like NBA too. I like uh, I like the NBA. My team's of course the Lakers. You know, from LA. But uh, I don't know how this uh, Lavar Ball situation is gonna happen. But something better happen. So right now I'm just pull pulling out the potatoes real quick. I don't think I'm going to peel them tonight. And the count of the video is going to be too long. I'm going to pull these babies in here. Now, another key is uh, don't throw away the water, okay? Do not throw away the water. And the reason is, is because if you throw that away, and let's just say these puppies are too dry, you don't have anything to add to it. And now with the potato water, you just throw it on there. Uh, thanks for the like, by the way. Thank you for the like. Thank you for sticking around, Ken, by the way. So these beans are almost done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these in the back on the, uh, on the simmer burner. We're going to leave, let these uh, beans continue to simmer, and uh, that way they don't get burnt. Well, that's cool. 76 ers huh? Man, thing does not want to light. I'm going to have to use my match. There we go. All right, let's get these guys out of here. I'm gonna start making the potatoes real quick. So I got the potatoes now. I'm gonna use the same bean smasher, except I need to wash this thing. You like tostadas? I love tostadas, man. Those are my, love those things, tostadas. Tostadas with some meat. Ground meat or carne asada. Hey Jerry, what kind of tostadas do you like? All kinds. All kinds of tostadas. <laughs> All kinds. All right, so I'm just rinsing this real quick so I don't uh, cross contaminate here, you know. Really? Yep. Oh my god. Why? We're not even using anything. <sighs> These old houses, man. Old houses. Hey, Jerry. Sure. Can you do me a favor, please? Can you pull out the mozzarella out of the uh, fridge? See what happens? See, they're getting real dry. So that's why we save the water. Save the water and avoid headaches later. Let me uh, move over here because uh, the heat from the stove is getting unbearable. I like wet wheat papa. What does it say? And chicken. Wheat, papa, and chicken. Wheat, papa. Never, or wet papa, you mean. This is W-E-A-T. Wheat, papa. And chicken. Hey, have you ever heard of a wheat papa? Wheat papa? Uh -huh. mm, no. No? Our viewer Ken here uh, has 
likes wheat, papa, and chicken. And uh, he's from Philly. Philly! Philly in the house! I love Philly. See, now I'm gonna put some water in here. A pot of the potatoes. I'm gonna keep mixing it here. I wanna get like almost like a mashed potato consistency. Jerry's in here. Jerry's in the house. Finished. With finish. Finish with the nails. Cool. Yes. So I got like s how many potatoes did I? I don't even know how many potatoes I put in here now. I think I put six potatoes. <laughs> I'm gonna put about a cup and a half of cheese. Just gonna mash them up real good. Yes, you can. Then uh, it's the wheat papa. I don't know what that means. Uh, I've never seen a wheat papa. Oh, uh, hey Ken, can you describe what, what that is exactly? W-E-A-T papa? Or, I don't know if you meant something else. I'm gonna have to go restore the power. Uh, right, so now I'm gonna put some salt. Oh, pollo con papa. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Pollo con papa. That would be a nice recipe to do. Yeah, this, we've had that before. Po pollo con papa? Pollo con papa. Hmm. I had it in, the, in an empanada. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. mm. And it's really good. You know what, Ken? You're right. It is really good. Are you sure? Positive. Oh. Whisking these babies up. All right, so now I'm gonna use a cup of cheese. I'm not gonna get my measuring cup. I'm just gonna throw it in here. Oh, we got three likes. We got another. Oh, con la tostada. Ah. Wow, potato, chicken, and la tostada. Nice. That's very interesting. I gotta check that out. Sounds good. Yeah, I know. Maybe we should maybe uh, make some of those. Yes. <laughs> now, as a kid growing up, my mom used to make us these tacos a lot. And I'm assuming because my parents didn't have much, so they made us what they could. Well, let me tell you, this food is, uh... oh, thanks. It looks delicious. Living healthy with Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for watching. So right now I got the uh, cup of cheese. I think I already put more than a cup. Maybe a cup and a half already. And I'm using mozzarella. So Lisa, I know you just got in here. Uh, but right now I'm throwing... I got the potatoes out of the boil. Waving to you both. Hi. Mm -hmm. Right now you'll get to see us, Lisa. Sorry. Just getting um, these potatoes all mashed up. So we got our garlic powder. We're going to use our garlic powder. I'm going to use maybe about, about a teaspoon, maybe a half a teaspoon. I'm going to use a little bit of onion salt. Which is brand new. Never even used. I went to uh, Sam's Club. We went to Sam's Club, I should say, with uh, Jerry's, Hi, Kenneth. With Jerry's family. And uh, we've got this spice rack for six bucks. And it came with all these great spices in there. So that's what I'm using right now. I'm going to use a little bit of the salt, kind of drop that little metal piece in there. So mixing these up. And I like to put the cheese in here because it makes it when you, you know, of course throw it in the fryer. Oh my god. The cheese melts and then it gets crispy. 
on the oil. And oh my god. So right now we're just mashing them up like if you were making some mashed potatoes. Uh, let's, let me taste it real quick. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Want to give it a try? I'm scared I might eat the whole bowl of mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> You need the whole bowl? Yes. Oh my gosh. You're so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got another viewer. Hey. Viewer number three. <coughs> Welcome, guys. Welcome. Uh, I think I'm done with the cheese. Think. Put it in the fridge for me. Thank you. Hope you have a dish. Huh? For me. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> we don't mind sharing, that's for sure. Sorry, we're just in the camera here. So, I've already mixed the potato, sweating like crazy because <laughs> it's hot in here. And I already got my tortillas ready. They're all falling apart now, but uh, they're all warmed up. So,. Jerry is right here. I don't know if you guys can see her. Hi, guys. The beans are almost done. Can you ready? Sure. Gotta mix them up so, so they don't burn. So these beans are ready. And these are just regular old canned beans, so they make the, you know, good refried beans. And it goes well with the t uh, potato tacos, so it's great. So now it's time to make the potato tacos. You want to take control of the camera? Sure. <laughs> that took a while. So, as I'm doing... The tacos, I'm gonna get some oil, some uh, olive oil here, put it in this pan. I'm gonna put it on very low heat. I'm gonna move the pan over. I'm gonna put uh, at least a cup, maybe a cup's worth of oil. And of course, you know, you're not gonna eat the whole cup of oil. You just want to get it enough so that way it, it can cover the tortilla so that way it can fry the tortilla. Yep. All right. You want to put the camera down here, baby? And... I don't know how to do your tracing. Oh, just move the thing right here. Oh, the... Yeah. Remember, like, the other camera. All righty. So, get the potato with the cheese. I think I put too much. And that's all you do. Just kind of grab it, press it down. Don't worry about the edges. Let's get the potato in there. Almost like a quesadilla. Look at these horrible tortillas. <laughs> horrible. Courtesy of Guerrero. Or Guerrero. But it doesn't matter because they still make good tacos. Does not matter. Oh man, these tortillas are sticking together. All right, so we got a nice whole one here. Let me flip it over here. That's all you do. Potato on there. Mash it up. Hey Ken, when uh, when you had those tacos, those potato tacos, did you ever have what kind of what kind of stuff did they put in there? If you guys, if you remember. And Lisa, have you had potato tacos? If you're still watching, I think she's still there. Should have come up soon. Ooh, I think I put too much on this one. That one, yeah, you put a lot. Yeah, that's okay. Just scrape it. Yeah. Scrape it off. Dude, we're already 44 minutes in. Never, but I. Me, after seeing <laughs> this. <laughs> Well, I hope you do. I hope you try it out. You're going to love them. And they're so easy to make. 
I don't know if you were here when I was saying my mom used to make this for us when we were kids. And oh my god, love them. So, so far, Lisa, what I've done so far, uh, since you got here a little bit late, I got some cabbage here. <laughs> I love mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> what I got here is some cabbage, and I cut it up real small. And I got some uh, lemon, lemon juice, threw it on the cabbage. And this is going to go inside the potato taco when the taco comes out of the fryer. So I got about, what, five tacos here? All right, let's move the camera over. We got a tiny little stove here. <laughs> Ancient stove. But it doesn't matter how old it is, it still works. So we got it in here. And that's all you do is just lay it on the oil. It's not the healthiest of foods. But it's very delicious. So I increase the heat a little bit just to get the oil started. But I'm going to decrease it right now because I don't want to leave it in there too long. Because if I do, these things will get too crispy too quick. And. gonna let them fry up until they get nice and golden crispy on one side and we flip these babies over flip them right over and what's cool about this is that you can make that mashed potato a mixture and like I said you can save it put it in a ziploc let it cool down put it in a ziploc throw it in the fridge and if you want to have Potato tacos, you know, maybe three days down the road, you can pop open a Ziploc bag, heat up some tortillas, throw the oil in there, and you're ready to go. You got some fresh tacos all over again. <clears throat> and we got the rice almost done. We got two minutes left. Show you guys real quick. About two minutes left on this guy, one minute. So everything's coming together at the same time. I'm gonna flip these guys over. The only thing is about making these is that after you're done making them, uh, the oil that you use probably will not be reusable. Unless you're making them again. No. You know why? It's because the potato kind of comes out of the taco. And it gets all over the oil. So, might not be able to use it again. Because then it gets, starts burning up. And then you get the, you know, burnt smell in the coffee. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Man. The camera is horrible on the phone. You know what, if I switch it around, maybe you guys can see it better. Whoa. I already left a dirty mark on the stove. Rice is done. Oh man, if only you were here. If only you were here. This thing smells so delicious, especially because of the cheese that is in the potato mixture. It's so delicious. It smells so good. So the rice is done. Let's see if we can get a shot of the rice real quick. Uh, let's pull the camera back up. Um, they don't go over the top, but you definitely can put it over the top. 
The rice is done right there. Quick and easy. Love this thing. It's a yellow rice. Oh, you made the yellow rice? Yes, ma'am. Mm. And Lisa, I know you just got in here, but I use uh, this yellow rice right here. And we got this at Sam's Club for like three bucks. So these tacos are getting almost ready. This one's about done. And it'll get a lot of floaties. Just pull them out. You don't want to leave them in the oil because then, uh, then you get that burnt. Burnt taste on the food. See, we can move this camera a little bit closer. There we go. So yeah, guys, if only you guys were here to smell it. The smell of that potato and the cheese. Crackling and the oil. Oh my god. Oh! If only we can send smells to the video. <laughs> Imagine smell vision That'd be great. That'd be awesome. But then, like, if you live, like, you know, halfway around the world and you, like, like something, like, it's like the way something smells. So, Jerry, the beautiful Jerry here, is uh, already done making the tacos. So, you guys can see here, we got them all ready, piled up, and these are just going to go straight in the oil, start cooking. All right. Let's flip this baby over over here. Tacos are still sizzling. Beans are ready to go. Nice and hot. And did, you, did you say about like if you have leftovers that you could throw it in a Ziploc bag and throw it in the refrigerator? Yes, I have. Oh, this thing's falling apart. <clears throat> Hopefully the next batch looks a lot better than these. So, just letting these guys fry up and let me get a paper plate. Oh, okay. Thanks. Jerry got us a plate already. So, we can pull out the uh, ready made tacos. We're going to stack them up over there. They're almost about done. So this whole process takes about maybe about an hour to do. And if you have a big family and you got to feed a lot of people, this is the way to go. Beans, rice, and potato tacos. All right, so I'm going to start pulling these guys out so I can start throwing the other ones in there. And uh, try not to stack them together. Let them hang out on their own. I just remember the power was off here. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, reset the power real quick. Oh, this one stands a lot of oil. Hate when this thing happens. All right. I don't know, Jerry, if you want to uh, throw in some more potato tacos in there sure. while I go reset this power brick. Man, they're almost about done. It's hard to reset the power to this darn thing. Um, you can turn off the rice cooker. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. No, you can leave it on. We don't. We're not gonna do anything else. Oh, he's a cooking one. A lot faster now. The bad thing is that this thing doesn't really zoom in that well. Beans are ready to go. Why don't we start setting up a plate so we can see how it looks. Okay. Let's do that. Sounds good. Let's get a plate going. Let's see what we do with these tacos. Ooh. Forgot we had that. How could you forget sour cream? Ooh. Pull it out, baby. Pull that sour cream over here. So yeah, right now I'm just cooking up the tacos. Uh, Jerry's gonna set up a plate right now with the beans, the rice, so you can see the end product. Let me switch the camera around. There we go. Oh my God, my sweaty face. <laughs> Sweaty. Uh, who is in the chat room? Is Lisa still there? Or is it you, Ken? Let's put the camera over here. Man, see what this heat does to me? I'm like cooking like bacon. Oh, there you go. Hey, Lisa. Where are you from, Lisa? If you don't mind us asking, you know, you don't have to give us exact address, but, <laughs> but I mean, you know, what state are you from? Oh, hey, Ken, you're still here. I don't know why. Oh, Florida, nice. Florida. Florida. Uh, my sister is, she goes to Florida a lot. I think she has a vacation home over there. Uh, by Clearwater. Clearwater. Clearwater Beach. My uncle used to live in Clearwater. Oh, I know. You had an uncle from uh, Florida. Huh? Florida. Or, well, that lives in Florida. Yeah, he was from over here and then he moved to Florida. I don't know why, but it only shows one of you guys here for whatever reason. It just says one person. Yeah, that is. It's in the chat. Please. All right. Borrow some of these tacos from you. Wait, those things are hot. Careful. It's nice and clear. Clear water? Yes, yes it is. it's so nice. I mean, I've never been there. Me either. But I've yeah, seen I, pictures. Me too. <laughs> I heard the oceans are really like crystal clear and you can uh, see right through. Because the ocean's here in California. Yeah. I wouldn't go into the ocean no more than my ankle. It might as well be uh, muddy water, let me tell you. Yeah. Oh, that hoopla of uh, clear water here is baloney. Don't worry, you know, we live where we live, but some of the stuff that's out there is better. All right, let me pan down here. Jerry's uh, setting up this taco. So I like to add more lemon, just because I like mine real lemony. Just use adding more lemon. Get some of that cabbage, throw it inside the taco. Ooh, setting up real nice. Yum. Setting up real nice there. Let me throw some sour cream on there. Now it says we have zero people watching. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's up with this. Come on, YouTube. Come on, YouTube. Get it together. How come this won't come off the spoon? <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Live bloopers. Live bloopers. Yeah. All right. This so one. Jerry's uh made me hungry now. <laughs> well, too bad. These are my tacos. <laughs> no, just kidding. 
Wish you were here, Lisa. We would yes. share. Yes. We would definitely make you a plate, Lisa. You too can. Set you guys up with the plate. Oh, yeah. Got that sour cream in there. You got the beer going. Beer is not the uh, healthiest of choices, but. That goes good with the tacos. Yes, it does. All right, let's switch this camera up. So we can see what's going on. Sorry about the shaky cam, guys. And that's what we got for you guys. Uh, the potato tacos. Uh, she's already piled them on. I think she might have put a little bit too much sour cream. Corona. <laughs> Actually, uh, Ken, this is a little bit better than Corona. This is Estrella Jalisco. This is my favorite beer, Ken. My favorite beer. This is going to go well with these tacos right here. Set this up real nice. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to eat right now. <laughs> you got the hot sauce under there? Albanero hot sauce? Oh, hot sauce. Wait, oh, where's the camera? This is a El Yucateco. Extra, extra, extra hot sauce. Yummy. Switch this camera around again. Woo. Hey, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let me take a bite out of these babies. Go, babe. A lab taste test. So yeah, you don't have to put the beans on top, but you can put them certainly on the side. <laughs> I will. I will. I wish you guys were here. Trust me. And for sticking through the chat. Thank you guys for sticking throughout the whole video. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. Awesome. Awesome, guys. All right, ready? Mm. Oh, my God. So good. So good. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, that's the way you make those potato tacos. Real easy. Set them up. We get the beer going here. Beer miner. <laughs> yes, they're very crunchy. Super, cr <clears throat> super crunchy. Oh my god, that hot sauce, man. <laughs> we would love to hear from you. So if you guys make these tacos, please let us know how you like them and, you know, maybe what your input is. Maybe I'll, ch I'll ch change things up a bit or add, you know, an ingredient or mm -hmm. just let us know in the comments in this video. Cheers, Ken. Cheers, Lisa. Oh, man. That's great. Still making some more? Yeah. Alright. I think we're going to make all of them tonight. Um, I don't know if we're going to continue with the video. I think this will be it. Let me uh, get in closer with the camera so you guys can hear the crunch of the taco. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Lisa. Somebody wants to see your mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let's see a mouth up close, babe. <clears throat> oh man, that hot sauce. It's so good. I know it is. But it's so hot too. Dang. It is good. It is good, Cam. <clears throat> oh man, that hot sauce. Alrighty guys, I think I think this is gonna be it for the video. Alright? I think this is it. Oh my god. We almost had a catastrophic catastrophic Cast failure here. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. There you go. So these are some tacos that we made tonight. Uh, Jerry just fried them up while I was uh, eating. My taco. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'll make you, um, I'll serve you the next plate. Okay. Thanks. So these are the tacos that we made. Uh, I don't know if the light does it justice here. Let me bring it down a little bit. Quick and easy. Thank you, Lisa. 
Yeah, I think this is gonna be uh, it for the video. Hugs to you, Lisa, as well. Thank you for sticking around to the end. Thank you, Ken, for sticking around to the end. And we're gonna thank you guys for watching. I'll put a link in the description for my rice cooker. I don't know about the pans, the pans kind of suck. I think it's going to be it for the video. And uh, hopefully we'll make more videos in this uh, little dirty kitchen. Right? <laughs> That'd be cool. Alright guys, have a good night. Bye guys, thanks for watching. See you, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. Cheers.